Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when F1 Manager 2024 game is not loading or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and then check. If that does not work, you can even restart Steam. So exit and then relaunch Steam and then check. Next step is to Try DX11, DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. You can type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work. Again, make a right click, go to properties and this time type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check still not working. Then go to properties and this time type in dash NOHMD. In the launch option that is dash noh md and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to delete the config file now when you delete the config file you will lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder. Now open F1 manager 24 folder saved and then open the config. Here you can see config folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. If you want to create, create a backup, you can keep a backup and then you can delete. So just delete the config folder and once that is deleted now launch the game and then check still not working then delete the save game files but when you delete the save game file you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files for this you can go back and you can just delete this complete go to this location and then you can make a right click on f1 manager 24 and you can delete this folder you will lose all the game progress and then you have to start everything from scratch still not working next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open this first of all open this f1 manager 24 folder binaries win64 then select this exe file make a right click select properties and then go to the second tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok then make a double click launch the game still not working do the same thing with the first exe file go back and then make a right click on this exe file select properties and do the same thing put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check over here windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work try windows 7 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working then when you put a check on all these boxes still the game is not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and do the same thing with the second exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to now, if you're using any third party antivirus, like if you're using Avast, Norton, AVG, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, I'm not using any third party antivirus, but I'm using Windows security. So if you're using, using Windows security, then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end you will see manage 
it ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 sorry program files x86 and then open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then this time open f1 manager folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open this second folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add now once the game is added over here now click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select a product type for me it's geforce experience so i'll select geforce now for product series select your series so make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then this time open f1 manager binaries win64 select this exe file click on add again click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files do not ignore this just make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer sometimes we have multiple controller connected disconnect multiple call, connect, uh, controllers disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disconnect all the usb adapter connected to the computer which you are not using so disconnect all the dongle usb adapter if you have any devices connected which you are not using disconnect it disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game now if you have discord running turn off the overlay in discord if you are if you're using geforce experience turn off overlay in geforce experience so close all the other overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner river tuner or any kind of overclocking application close it and then launch the game and then check also we we have already we already did it now if you have any third party application or services running so make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game 
perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case disable all is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so first of all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart you can be and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file now this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download x86 and once the download is complete run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 file as well and once the download is complete run this exe file as well Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once both are installed, then you will see a restart option over here. You can click on restart or you can simply restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install DirectX. now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see download option to download DirectX. now click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow agree next uncheck install bing bar if you want next and let the installation complete 
Now, once the installation is complete, you will see the finish option. Click on finish and then you can launch the game and then check. So click on finish now. You can restart your computer if you want. Once restart your computer and then check. Now, the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. Now, this is important. Do not ignore this. Go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, now if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. But if you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode and lower down video settings. Now for this, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings on the bottom here. You can see settings icon. So click on settings and then you can go to settings and then go to display first. And if you're using borderless, uh, then if you're using full screen, you can switch to borderless. Now, if you're using borderless or full screen, in that case, you can switch to uh, window mode. And if you're using full screen, like if you're using full screen, in that case, you can, if you're using 4K resolution, you can uh, set it to 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more and then check. If that does not work, you can even switch to window mode. And then if, let me switch to window mode. Yeah, window mode. And if the VSync is off, you can turn it on and then check. If the VSync is already on, you can turn it off and then check. And then apply the settings and then go to graphics now over here if this is set to like ultra in that case you can set it to high you can even set it to medium scroll down if upscaling is set to dlss in that case you can set it to quality now if you're using fsr in that case again set it to quality but in my case i will just use tsr or you can even if there is an option to turn it off, but I don't think so. I will select TSR um, for me. TSR is working fine and then apply the settings and then you can check the performance. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can close. The, uh, if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. So make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. Now, if you have installed the game to external drive like D drive or E drive, in that case, try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So use SSD. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.